the ministration of the anointing water sent by Prophet T.B. Joshua in Washington State, the United States of America. We've arrived in America because Prophet T.B. Joshua has sent the new anointing water. People are gathering from many different cities in Washington State because they've heard about the anointing water and they're here for healing, for deliverance and for breakthrough in Jesus' name. Prophet T.B. Joshua has sent his evangelists to minister the anointing water for good health, breakthrough in all areas of their lives and the salvation of their souls in Washington State, in the United States of America. Here, hundreds have gathered, waiting expectantly to receive the ministration of the anointing water, which would change the course of their lives forever. Remember, God can use any medium to express His power to others. Power of healing. Power of deliverance. Power of victory and breakthrough through the anointing water. To His power, nothing is impossible people from all across the USA come out to testify that when the power of God is present, healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings are just like breathing. Get ready to witness the mighty move of the Holy Spirit in Washington State, USA, through the anointing water. I've been watching TB Joshua for quite a few months already and has impacted my life greatly. Uh, that's the only thing I watch now. After watching TB Joshua's ministry, Prophet TB Joshua, I never read the Bible the same, I never pray the same. And everywhere I go now, uh, every person that I encounter, I let them know hey, there's a ministry, Prophet TB Joshua. God is doing some amazing things through that ministry. My life has been changed. Emmanuel TV, as a whole church knows, never gets turned off in my office, in our office. We show the clips from the Emmanuel TV every single week on our youth service. My life has been uh, dramatically changed. My mindset has been changed by watching that ministry. And we have been blessed personally. We watch every service before we go to our service and our faith gets encouraged. So I would encourage anybody who is out there, please watch Emmanuel TV. Watch it on your internet, watch it at your TV, watch it on YouTube, anywhere. Your faith will be lifted because it's a present the apostolic ministry that God has raised up for all the nations. It's not for Africa, it's for all the nations. Come out! Come out! Come out! Ow! 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 During the time of prayer, this lady is ministered upon and under the delivering influence of the Holy Spirit, she falls to the ground. This body is not your temple. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Let's listen to her testimony after the ministration. I was feeling so depressed and I recently tried to commit suicide and I was hospitalized and there was just so much pain from all the, I took medication, like so much medication to try to end my life and there was just pain and I was depressed and when I came up here it's like everything just left and I began to cough and it was like everything just kept going off and I just had this overwhelming joy and happiness and like no pain anywhere and I just felt great, you know, God just, all glory to God, He just really blessed me today and I feel great. There's there's nothing, no pain, no depression, nothing. I feel good. I was sick like um, 10 years ago. Okay, so for 10 years you had this sickness? Yeah, I had a sickness. Uh, what kind of sickness? And my stomach and this side. What happened to you during mass prayer? Yeah, when there was prayer, I was feeling hard inside, okay. like burning okay. here to here. After the surface, I feel, I feel okay when I drink the water they give us yesterday. Mm -hmm. I feel okay. Before, I was, when I eat, I feel pain when I eat. Even when I walk home, uh -huh. I feel pain. But this morning when I wake up... And you, you ate this morning, you felt no pain? No, no pain. I had chronic bronchitis and my left lung was bruised. You have to catch your breath a lot and you, it hurts and your chest really hurts and your lungs hurt. Um, it never leaves your system. Once you have bronchitis, you have it for the rest of your life. What did you feel when the evangelist prayed for you administering the anointing water? 
Um, there was like a fire throughout my body. Um, there was a fire around my chest and my hands tested tensed up, I couldn't move my hands, and my body was shaking, I felt like a heaviness was lifted, and I can breathe, and it doesn't hurt anymore. I feel light, it, feel, it feels normal to breathe, I feel great. Can you breathe for us? One more time. When you came to the front to receive prayer with the anointing water, can you tell us a little bit about your experience and what happened? Yeah, I asked the lady um, to pray over me about a spirit of rejection and disappointment. And I just had this uncontrollable feeling that just came over me, something that I couldn't control. And um, just kind of took over me. And then afterwards she said I was free. And I definitely felt um, uh, light, lighter. This lady has come with the problem of difficulty in walking due to an ankle injury for five years. Let's listen to her. My name is Mary. I have a problem in my left ankle. Um, I twist it. I've been paying for almost five years right now. I went to the five doctors. I see the bone doctor. They tell me um, I have arthritis. I use the medicine. So this is, this, is all your, this is all your medicine? I can never sleep all night. I have to wake up like three times and get ibuprofen. I believe Jesus Christ have a power for everything. Come out of her, buddy. It's Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' name. Right here, she receives her healing through the anointing water in Jesus' name. She rises up full of joy and happiness, healed in Jesus' name. I feel like my body, something is go out. Now, no. I feel like I move it. And it doesn't hurt. It's not hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt like before. Oh, wow. I can't dance. I can't walk. I can't do nothing. I don't know. It doesn't hurt. I don't know. Could you, could you, could you walk for us? Could you walk for us? Just back and forth. I have problems in my hips and my knees, which really hurts if I get up too quickly. I've also had a back problem, okay. which wouldn't let me sleep. What happened during prayer when the evangelists were spraying the anointing water on you? What happened to you? I felt, oh, it was just like a, a power starting from my stomach and it just like shot out. Really? Yeah. And it like went through like my fingers, it went to my head, it went to my feet. Oh, so wow. just basically to all points of my body and, mm -hmm. and I just, I don't know, I just felt the, a power. Like I can't explain it wow. how. Uh, how do you feel right now? How does your knee and everything, how does it feel right now? It's, it, I can move, it doesn't hurt at it doesn't all. It doesn't hurt no more? Yeah. Know. What about your back? My back doesn't hurt at all and your either. back doesn't hurt either? Yeah. I couldn't like even sometimes pick up some little things in my arm. It's so painful. And after prayer I'm feeling like, like fire coming in from my head and to my legs and I don't remember nothing but I feel, I just raised my hand and I am so happy, thanks God. <laughs> Um, my joints, joints in the hip, uh, they were hurting, I felt pain for 20 years already. And when I came out on Sunday to pray and they prayed for me, and I just felt like this heat just came over my side. And the uh, pain was gone, and then right now, uh, it's been a couple days, three days now, and it's, it's all gone. Praise God. This young man came with a severe shoulder problem and was not actually ministered upon directly but received his healing while standing behind the person that received the anointing water. Three days ago, I injured my shoulder. I rolled off my bed. The shoulder was just, you know, ineffective. It, it, I couldn't raise it up, you know, head high. When the anointing water was sprayed on the person, the anointing water touched my hand, and I felt this big snap on my left shoulder. And when I felt that snap, my shoulder was completely restored back to normal, and I could move it all the way around. About a year ago, um, the doctor said I had a thyroid condition. When they prayed for me with the anointing water, in the name of Jesus, um, the pain was gone. I just felt a, a warmness here, and I don't feel any pain anymore. 
I asked him to pray for my eyes and pray for my chest pain that I had. And what happened is when he prayed for me, I felt like I, I was losing my balance, so I ended up falling. When I fell down, I felt this anointing. You, you can see, you know, it's like intense, like tingling in my hands. And I know something happened inside of me. And I feel like that chest pain is like left completely because I felt like, you know, this is this, 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 like, I don't know, it's like holiness, you could call it. This completeness in me. You spirit of infirmity, you unclean spirit in her life, out in Jesus' mighty name, out, 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 out of her life, out. I don't know if I cracked a rib or if I just bruised it, but it, it was hurting even I, to cough. I couldn't cough. And so she prayed for me, and it doesn't hurt anymore. Hallelujah. I came here tonight because I suffer from anxiety and depression. And with uh, anointed water, I just feel refreshed and clean. And uh, like God has given me a second chance. When you came to the front and received prayer with the anointing water, can you tell us a little bit about what happened and what your experience was? I felt like something like really powerful that I've never experienced before came into my life and like it just filled all of me and I think that the thing that was bothering me the most just like left and I feel totally renewed, restored and I, I just have faith. When he put the anointing water in at first I, I didn't feel anything but then immediately I just felt just the Holy Spirit like come in me and just completely break my heart apart and just set me completely free. I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed. For about a month now I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety and depression. And when you came up to the front and got prayed for with the anointing water, can you tell us a little bit about what happened? When I got prayed for, I felt like this just sensation, this warm sensation all over my body and I just felt like something just left. My, my relationship with God has just been kind of like really dry and it just I haven't had, I just really felt disconnected from God and uh, was having a lot of confusion when he started praying for me like I just, I just felt like this passion kind of like come back, just, I just felt the presence of God again on my life and, and it was, I don't know, it was just overwhelming and I feel good right now and I, and I feel, I feel a passion coming back in my, in my heart. I have been thrown out of a car when I was 16 years old and my hip has hurt since then and so when she started praying for me I could feel you know the relief of that hip. I received prayer with the anointing water and I just completely felt the presence of God come into my body and just start removing things that weren't from God and I just completely felt this this thing leave me and then the peace of God just completely overtook my body. When you came to the front this morning to receive prayer with the anointing water can you tell us about what happened? Uh, I got a like heart attack before and my both hand was numb. After uh, she was praying I feel the, like the heart come to my right hand and the right hand is okay right now. I'm leaving my past behind